Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. So it's been an interesting day so far. We've had some various things happening. Um, so I don't know about you, but if do you find it interesting if you're calm and someone else is getting really, really triggered and the more calm you are, somebody else gets more and more triggered? I found that really fascinating to watch. I'm like, why is this person getting so triggered when I'm just standing here? I've had it happen so many times, you guys. Like, probably they came from somewhere else. Well, they did. So they obviously came from somewhere where there was a lot going on. Because I'm like the eye of the storm. I'm just standing there. And I just go, oh, well, you know, offer a couple of suggestions. And then the more suggestions you, you make, the person gets more hostile. So I, it, I'm just witnessing, like, okay. Um, so what do we have here for Aries? Ooh, look what we got. We got the commitments. There's something here about a long-term commitment to something. Now, it doesn't have to be marriage or love. This is about any kind of commitment that you make. Now... <clears throat> Let's see what we get with that. Oh, look at this. Ace of Cups. There could be some new love in your life. This is supposed to be romantic of some kind. Romantic in some way. Wow, look what we're getting here. Um, we have the sun illuminating, shining on something, bringing positive energy into a situation. Okay, look at all of this. Look at what we're getting. This is crazy because this is like um, very much a, not the energy I'm sensing, but it's here. So commitments, love, happiness. Okay, we have someone in, looking into something very closely, sort of like inspecting. Um, this is about scrutinizing. Wow, there's someone who has the key to your heart. So your your heart will be unlocked in some way. Wondering what this is all about, Aries. It's not showing up as money. Oh, here we go. There's something about money. King of Pentacles, the card in the Lenormand with the fish is symbolic of money, finance, wealth. Great wealth. It's actually supposed to be like, kind of like the surplus. Okay, this is not what I, oh look. Now we have here the soulmate or the bond or the harmony that you have with a person. So what I'm thinking is, try to stay focused on love. Um, like being the harmonious energy. Oh yeah, look what, what, look what is underlying here. So underlying the cards, I always look what's going on below the surface that you don't see. I have, this is about talking, communication, wisdom. We have the moon, hidden emotions, hidden feelings. We have the wrath of nastiness. Um, we do have the well of deep emotions. So there's someone here who is feeling like they're going through an insurmountable challenge, like something that is impossible to overcome. But this is just a part of life with the tree of life. This is just a part of life. Um, you know, somebody could be really going through someone around you. It's not your problem, but it does look like these two cards or these three cards. Somebody is dealing with a, a quite a nasty energy. It could be a mom, it could be a dad, it could be anybody, but it's the energy of a snake that's like hissing. And there's very deep feelings about this energy. So if you can try as hard as you can to remember that everything is energy, and when you're just sort of around energy, you, you're you an innocent witness to the energy. Unless you're, I mean, because Aries, your energy is really, really good right here. I mean, the cards are really good. It does show scrutiny. 
looking very closely at detail. Okay, and then we have the heart in the cage with the key. So what are we getting here for you, Aries? Show us here, Aries. Show us Aries energies. Show us an Aries message. Three of Cups. Okay, parties and fun. Could be a third party. I don't think it's a third party. Could be just friends. It's emotions are connected between people. So it's more than one person. Emotions are shared. Wow. Three of coin. People have a vested interest. There's a real vested interest. Money, cars, houses, things, stuff. People are sharing the emotions about this challenge. Okay, I'm starting to understand. I think there's financial struggle going on with some people right now. And, you know, with you, I mean, all is well over here. Um, underlying the energy is four of coin. Holding on closely to what you have. Saving. Um, being cautious. I'm going to just go this way. There's caution. But people are sharing emotions about a real investment in things. Like they're working together, they're invested in something, and you're holding back. Okay, what you're going to become aware of is generosity, helpful energy, somebody giving something real to someone to help someone out. Okay, there is this sort of like unwillingness to give or to share. The, the energy here of persistence, even though a situation is difficult, is popping up. Persistence. Um, you know, being a warrior on the battlefield, not wanting to quit, not wanting to give up. Okay, the star is coming. So the star is coming into your future energy. This means major arcana for healing, uh, major arcana for hope. You will be letting this situation go, okay? Wow, your energy is pretty worried. Um, you feel possibly stressed out, worried, or you have a lot on your mind. Things beyond your control. Eight of Swords. It's a lot of conflicted thoughts going on about other people who share the feelings and they share the investment and there's this unwilling to budge but what you're finding out or what's on your mind is being helpful um, there's some kind of generosity a person around you page of the cups now this is a page it is a messenger they don't have power um, they don't have authority they just deliver the message and this person could be, because it's causing Eight of Swords in you, um, very meaningless. Um, it's, it's just somebody who's kind of, um, I think they don't even know that they stress you out or something. This is, a, it's supposed to be a friendly, um, innocent person, but they're a little bit naive. They could be um silly um but there's something about this energy of the naive sort of youthful thing that is causing you stress like you feel like hmm okay you want to move past this is like i'm moving on this is like i've got other plans i've got another court agenda i've got something else i'm doing that's more important uh, it sort of lights a fire under you to get out of a situation. Okay, Major Arcana for lovers. You will have a choice. You will have a choice. And a blessing will come into your life. The lovers, I feel, is blessings because it's Archangel Raphael, I believe. It could be Gabriel. You're going to have a choice to heal and move forward. Somebody, six of coin, is going to give you that extra coin you need to level up. And this will change it all. So then you'll come to this place where you'll have a choice. Look at this. This is great. 
Tower and eight of rods. Something moves forward quickly, very fast change. Um, okay, so unexpectedly, something will come toward you fast. Underlying is unwilling to give, unwilling to share, not wanting to, you know, there's an energy of sort of caution or holding back. We do have a two of cups and an ace of water. You will have harmony with a person here and peace and love. New feelings will come into a situation. Now, whether this is something about a, your love life or a career or just life in general, your challenge is three of coins. People who have a vested interest in something and underlying your energy is unwilling to share or give or not wanting to open up not wanting to pay, um, it could be many things. Like people are sharing feelings and they also share, uh, they share, there's something profitable about this. And you're like, no, I'm not giving to it. What's on your mind is like, well, I can help someone out, but I'm not gonna give. There's something where you're resisting the energy. So, Ah, look at this, Emperor, you're taking your power back. You're sitting on your throne. You have power. Um, could be, you're very like up in your head about something, feeling like there's nothing, it's beyond your control. This Page of Cups, who is this Page of Cups? Look at what fell out. This is a toxic energy. This is a person who um, could have toxic friends could have toxic people that they deal with. I don't feel like this is a third party. I feel like this is a toxic person because it makes you worried. It makes you um, feeling like I can't control the situation. The good news is though, there's a person here around you with the two of cups and the ace of water where they're here or there's a person involved in this who shares, they're on your side, they're either an ally, a friend, a person here who shares your feelings. And they're pretty strong feelings. And you know, you're here in your emperor energy feeling like you have sovereignty. Now you could also be dealing with someone who is uh, a supervisor, a boss, a person in a uh, some kind of position of power. Okay, okay, so Aries, um, this is a pretty intense energy because what you have, bottom of the deck, queen of the fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, helpful, willing to help. Yellow to me is peaceful. The sunflower is about generosity. Um, you know, it's about being helpful. There's a toxic person here. You could get some messages. But this ultimately makes you go in a new direction. It makes you choose to go another way. And you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna go another direction here. Um, you know, something could be triggering you. But then you actually look at what we got. We got the fool. So we have something here about freedom, new beginnings, just no burdens on your shoulders. It could be someone you're dealing with as well. We did get this King of Coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, so something changes quickly in your situation with this tower and then in the Eight of Swords or Eight of Rods. Something goes fast forward. So it could be messages, um, it could be travel, but there's something here in your reading that is showing me. First of all, you have someone here who is on your side. They're showing you care, compassion. Um, they're looking into something. The sun is shining on something in your life. And what else are we getting here? Oh. Sorry guys. This camera is really good, but it's really freaking heavy. It's like five pounds or three pounds or something. Okay. 
So the sun card is here. Okay, so what's happening in this reading is there are other people who share feelings and they share a vested interest, but you're not willing to give to it. And what's on your mind is giving a little bit, being helpful, but you're not wanting to go all the way with something. And the star is here to give you hope for the future. Even though you're kind of worried about something, there is some kind of toxic person here that contacts you. They are not in the best energy here. They're in a, a negative energy, a bad energy. You take your power back. There is someone here on your side and everything will work out in your favor, Aries. So I'm gonna leave it here. Um, thank you for tuning in and take care.